Uh, before we begin this evening, a reminder to my fellow board members, we've had some of, of our live streams where some of our constituents can't hear some of us speaking. That's because the, uh, your mic is not on when you're speaking. So please be sure your red light is on when you're speaking during the meeting. Uh, before we begin, we're going to have a moment of silence for some of our uh, employees that have passed away. Let's please have a moment of silence for the following individuals who recently passed away. Susan Terrio, retired central office secretary. Angie Cicero, retired school teacher. Sheila Melanson, retired school teacher. Graham Douglas, retired central office supervisor of secondary education. Ruth Coleman, retired school teacher. Cleveland Joseph, Jr., retired teacher, coach. Myra Starr, retired school teacher. Shirley V. Dehart, retired school food service technician. And Lionel Barrow, retired custodian. A moment of silence, please. Uh, now we'll have the invocation and pledge of allegiance by Mr. Ford. Please stand. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity for us to gather. Let this be an opportunity for us to gather and unite for learning, fellowship, and the enrichment of our community. You are the highest king who sets us free to do your work, which starts here in this time and this place. Lord, set us free to do your work. It is in your name we pray. Amen. 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 Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Mr. Michael LeBarn. Here. Mr. Gregory Horning. Mr. Matthew Ford. Here. Mrs. Debbie Benoit. Here. Mr. Don Crowdis. Here. Mr. Clyde Hamner. Here. Mr. Roger Dale Dehorn. Here. Dr. Maybell Trahan. Here. And Mr. Dane Guazan. Here. Madam President, you have a quorum. Thank you, ma'am. Item number five, approval of the minutes of school board meetings on January the 10th, 2023 special school board meeting of January 24th, 2023, and the school board meeting of February 7th, 2023. The recommendation that the board approve the minutes of school board meeting of January 10th, 2023, special board meeting of January 24th, 2023, and the school board meeting of February 7th, 2023, as recorded. So moved. Second. Moved by Mr. Boisin, second by Mr. Hamner. Any public comment? Mr. Boisin? Mr. Hamner, other board members, any objections? None heard so ordered. Well, items. Madam President, yes, if, if yes, I can, I'd like to make a motion that we deviate from the agenda and move item 8A to uh, the proclamation for retired teachers uh, to item 6A2. Any objections? None heard so ordered. Thank you. Our item 6A, special recognition of Mackenzie Clement, South Terrebonne High School senior, for being named Terrebonne Parish Teenager of the Year by the American Legion Post. Just a little, few words about Mackenzie, and we're going to ask her to come up. South Terrebonne High School senior Mackenzie Clement was awarded the 2023 Teenager of the Year Award in Terrebonne Parish at the 66th Annual American Legion Teenager of the Year Ceremony and Dinner presented by the American Legion Lennox Hotard Post 31 on January 25th of this year. Mackenzie is a four-year honor roll student at South Terrebonne High School where she serves on the student council. She is as vice president. She's deeply involved in her community. And at last notice, she has saw, she has signed a letter of intent to play volleyball for Nickel State University this past November. And any university would be proud to have her in her college because she is finishing 43 college credits before she leaves high school. Uh, wow is the word I would say too. 
McKenzie, would you come up and uh, come let us know who you have uh, with you here tonight? <laughs> So today I have my amazing school counselors, Ms. Kenya Fields, Ms. Christina Bobbitt, and Ms. Janet Smith, who have supported me through this journey. And then I have my parents who support me through everything. My sister, her boyfriend, who I love sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> my amazing grandparents. So it's been a blessing, and it's really been an amazing opportunity to be here. So thank you all. For but I have a question me. before you walk off. Um, are you going to be a teacher? Yes, sir. Are I you am. really? Yes. Fantastic. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> elementary, secondary? It's a toss up between elementary and secondary right now. But okay. For Terrebonne Parish? Yes, ma'am. Yes. yes. That's good. Good, good, good. Uh, Mr. Hamner, you have anything to say? Uh, no, no, no. I take a little bit of the credit because I taught her mama and her daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Benoit? No, I just am so um, proud to know you and thank you for all that you've done to bring recognition to our district because you certainly have with your outstanding grades and all your achievements. So thank, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Ford. The American Legion is some true patriots. So to be recognized by them up here in front of us says a lot. So keep on that forward trajectory and uh, can aim a little higher if you need to than high school, you know, but we'd be proud, proud to have you. Glad to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Dehart. I'd like to congratulate you personally because I missed tonight of the magic moment that you accomplished this. I was at home ill, so, but I'm just saying that's the first time in 31 years that I missed that, that ceremony. And I'm so proud to see one of our students do have it. And what I heard about you is overwhelming. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Kugorn. Yeah, I want to thank you too as well because we haven't bought that title home in a while. Yes. And I, I knew you when you was a baby. <laughs> I think the last time I saw you was a baby. And I'll be willing to bet my money. You come back and teach it, we'll be at South Turbo. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Crowder. Uh, yeah, I would just like to go ahead and congratulate you. Uh, I was at that ceremony, and I know that the competition was very stiff and uh, very well deserved and congratulations to you. Thank you. And we couldn't be more proud and we have a presentation for you. Oh, Mr. Ogeron. Oh, yeah. So Mackenzie, uh, we're proud of you like Dr. Tron just said and um, you, you could be sitting up here, here, who knows one day, right? So it starts as a teacher and then see what happens but it's been a it, just joyful to watch your father I mean he he tears up every time <laughs> every time he, the first night he was, he was really a basket case but that's how much they love you and are proud of you for, for, for all your accomplishments they, they really uh, cherish you as, as their daughter so congratulations Thank you.
thought you knew when you asked that. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to get him to be a teacher. I thought you were going to say doctor or something. Moving on to uh, item uh, on the proclamation for, wait, I'm trying to find myself here. Right here. Proclamation for retired teachers. Item eight. Recommendation that the board approve the following proclamation, recognizing March 16th, 2023 as Retired Teachers Day in the Terrebonne Parish School District. So move. That's for unanimous second. Moved by Mr. Hamner, second by? Nice, so unanimous second. Second. Uh, any public comment? Mr. Hamner? Excuse me, Mr. Dehart. No, I asked for unanimous second. That's all. Oh, you asked for unanimous second. Yeah, just read it. Very sure. Okay. Any comments, Mr. Mr. Hamner? Have it read. Okay. We are going to read it. Any other board members? No objections? None heard so ordered. Uh, we're going to go ahead and read the proclamation. We have with us tonight for this event, uh, Ms. Lynn Elsie. Hi, Ms. Elsie. Ms. Grace Whitfield and Mr. Ernest Brown. Thank you for all for coming tonight. A lot more than that. Uh, sure. Well, the ones that I recognize. <laughs> <laughs> got Stacy Y'all all stand up real quick before we read the proclamation. I got a whole bunch. And, 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 and Stacy, if you if you we talking retired yeah, teachers, you. <laughs> if you're a retired teacher, please stand. I'm still working for And we got three on the board. Yes, of course. The proclamation says this, uh, whereas the Louisiana's retired teachers have devoted their careers to the education and training of tens of thousands of Louisiana's youth, and whereas Louisiana's retired teachers have provided job and social skill training for adults throughout the state, and whereas Louisiana's retired teachers have rendered valuable services in diverse leadership roles to their communities and institutions throughout their careers and continue to render such services as retirees. And whereas Louisiana's retired teachers represent the profession, which is given the basic responsibility for launching the careers of state and national leaders and for laying the foundation for the welfare of all members of our society. And whereas Louisiana's retired teachers represent a tremendous pool of experience and training which remains dedicated to the betterment of society everywhere. And whereas Louisiana's retired teachers represent a loyal, patriotic, and concerned citizenry which provides a dedicated and dependable support to the leaders in our community, state, nation now. Therefore, be it resolved that by the proclamation of the Honorable Governor of John Bell Edwards, the Terrebonne Parish School Board, and also, also recognizes and hereby proclaims March 16th, 2023 as Retired Teachers Day, and be it further resolved that copies of this proclamation be forwarded to all Terrebonne parish, public schools, and office buildings. And if uh, we'll have a presentation from Ms. Elsie and from Mr. Brown. On behalf of all of our retired teachers uh, who belong to uh, Terrebonne Retired Teachers Association, and we also honor our co-retirees, um, Mr. R Brown will, it's T-R-T-R-E-A. <laughs> We, man, I just want to say that the two groups this year are 
joining together to sponsor or host the District 2 LRTA conference. And that's coming up next week. We've got a lot of uh, dignitaries. We even have Senator Ed Price coming to speak with us. And um, I just wanna thank you all for recognizing the retired teachers as being an important part of our society today. Thank you. with all of them. Take them all. all. Take a picture yes. with all of them. Yes. Including Clyde. And, including right.
Did we get our picture taken too? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just teasing. Now let me turn on my mic. Miss Debbie Benoit. Miss Stacy Soleil. And Mr. Clyde Hamner. <laughs> Congratulations. Have a, uh, six. Wait, I'm, I've lost track of the numbers with all this bouncing around. <coughs> the Item 6C, special acknowledgement of school board members. We have a distinguished school member designation. The members that achieved this designation are Mr. Mike Lagarde, District 1, Mr. Gregory Harding, District 2, Mr. Matt Ford, District 3, Ms. Debbie Benoit, District 4, Ms. Stacy Soleil, former school board member, District 5. Mr. Clyde Hamner, District 6, myself, District 8, and Mr. Dayton Voisette, District 9, by the Louisiana School Board Association for having achieved Distinguished School Board Member designation for that 2019 to 22 school board term. This is across four years. A voluntary completion of a minimum of 16 hours of LSB approved continuing learning units in the first year of the term, which was 219 and six hours each year of LSB approved continuing learning units in each subsequent calendar year of six in, at least six in 2020, at least six in 2021, and at least six in 2022. So if you want to, please go accept your certificate, Mr. Le, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Lagarde. We do a picture. So if I have to go get my certificate, I'm gonna be able to announce the names. Michael Gore. Item 6D, announcements. <clears throat> On March 16th at 4.30 p.m., we'll have an employee representative committee. At 5.30 p.m. that same day, we will have a parent representative committee meeting. On the 21st, which is uh, a one week from tonight, we'll have our committee meetings, starting at 5 o'clock with finance, insurance, and section 16, then executive committee, <coughs> buildings, food service, and transportation, and ending with education, technology, and policy committee. On the 4th of April, we will have our regular school board meeting. <clears throat> Item number seven. Uh, excuse me, we didn't do five. What was five? Five was the approval of the minutes of the school board meeting. I think, didn't you just jump? Oh, yes, we did. Yeah, we I did. have it all checked off. Oh, we you did. did do that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm sorry, apologize. That's why I keep a check off here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, though. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, I turn the meeting over to Mr. Voisin. Thank you, Madam President. 
The Buildings, Food Service, and Transportation Committee met at 5 p.m. on Monday, February 27, 2023, in the board room of the school board office with the following members present, myself as chair, Mr. Harding as vice chair, Dr. Maybell, also on the committee. Also in attendance were Mr. Ford, Mr. Crowdis, Mr. Hamner, Mr. Lagarde, Superintendent Ogeron, and members of the staff. Mr. Obear, Supervisor of Transportation, addressed the committee on consideration of approval for a bus lease agreement between LSU, Agriculture Center, and Terrebonne Parish School Board. Recommendation number one, the committee recommends that the board approve and enter into a bus lease agreement between LSU, Agriculture Center, and the Terrebonne Parish School Board effective June 20, 2023 to June 23, 2023 to provide bus usage for the LSU Ag Center 4-H Youth Program. Provided buses shall run during normal operating hours on weekdays as needed. Mileage reimbursement at a per mile fee equal to 50% of the cost of one gallon of fuel at the time of travel with a minimum per mileage fee of $2.25 per mile driven provided and pay bus driver approved by the Terrebonne Parish School Board provided all necessary insurance requirements are met and further authorize the school board president to sign all necessary documents pertaining thereto. So moved. So moved, Mr. Ford. Second. Second, Mr. Hamner. Any public comments? Mr. Ford. I did have one question. Sir. So if you recall a year ago when this came up is when we made the adjustment for fuel. Uh, fuel prices were about a dollar a gallon higher then. Mm -hmm. Is that a consideration we need to make this year, or do we want to look at that in the future? I think that will. Go ahead, Mr. Orgel. So, so it's worded exactly according to policy, so we'll, we'll just follow it as is. Yes, sir. Okay. So, I mean, I, I'm okay with the policy as it's written right now, but I think in the future, it's, it's, it's depending prices have gone Depending on the price, bit, yeah. So we should be a little more uh, mm -hmm. conservative. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ford. Uh, Mr. Hamner? No. Uh, Good. Any other board members? Yes, Mr. Yeah. Um, Mr. Chairman, uh, is there a reason that nobody from LSU came and made made a request? Uh, not that I know of, no. Well, I don't know. It, this is a great, great program. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing it all over. Every time you go to a convention, they have representatives there. Because mm -hmm. sometimes questions come up, and uh, don't get wrong, I appreciate staff doing what they can. Mm -hmm. But it's always good to have a person making a request instead of staff. That's how it's been for years and years and years. Gotcha. And that way you get more information in case there are any, any kind of uh, questions, okay? Thank you. Good point. Thank you, Mr. DeHart. Um, any objections? Hearing none, motion passes. Recommendation number two is pulled for at this moment. Uh, may be readdressed in the next committee meeting. So we're polling recommendation number two. Recommendation number three, the committee recommends that the board approve and issue a notice to proceed as per contractual agreement to Sheremy and Bruce Architects for plans and specifications for a secure entry vestibule project at Oaklawn Middle School, establish a budget in the amount of $636,364. Funds to be derived from the building fund authorize the advertisement of bids direct that any major project changes be reported to the BFT committee prior to advertising for bids and further authorize the board president to sign all necessary documents pertaining thereto. So move, so okay. move Ms. Uh, Benoit. Second, Mr. Hamner. Any public comments? Uh, Mr. Uh, Ms. Benoit, Mr. Hamner. <laughs> Uh, I had mentioned that uh, at the committee meeting, perhaps some drawings. Uh, uh, did you did you request those? Uh, it's, it's all, we'll have it soon. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Any other board members? Any objections? Hearing none, motion passes. Recommendation number four, the committee recommends that the board approve and authorize the purchasing department to advertise for bids for the following maintenance and repair services for the 23-24 school year, and they're listed below. Do I have a motion? Motion. So moved. Second. Ms. Uh, Benoit, second. Mr. Hamner, any public comments? Ms. Benoit, Mr. Hamner? None. Other board members? Any objections? Hearing none, motion passes. Number five, recommendation. The committee recommends that the board approve and authorize the purchasing department to advertise for bids for the following maintenance supplies and equipment for the 23-24 school year. 
So move. So move, Mr. Hamner. Second. Second, Mr. Crowdus. Any public comments? Mr. Hamner? None. Mr. Crowdus? Any other board members? Any objections? Hearing none, motion passes. Recon recommendation number six, the committee recommends that the board approve and authorize the purchasing department to advertise requests for proposals for kitchen, hood, fire suppression system, inspections, and repair services. So move. So move, Mr. Hamner. Second. Second, Mr. Crowdus. Any public comments? Mr. Hamner? None. Mr. Crowdus? None. Any other board members? Any objections? Hearing none, motion passes. Recommendation number seven, the committee recommends that the board approve and authorize the purchasing department to advertise requests for proposals for a fire extinguisher inspection maintenance contract. So move. So move from Mr. Hamner. Second, Mr. Crowdis. <laughs> Any public comments? Mr. Hamner? Uh, Mr. No. Crowdis? Any other board members? Any objections? Hearing none, motion passes. Recommendation number eight, the committee recommends that the board approve and accept the lowest bid received, meaning all specifications for security fencing at Acadian Elementary, Broadmoor Elementary, Elysian Fields Middle, Honduras Elementary, Oaklawn Middle School from the HMSE LLC 912 Pe 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 Pueblo Drive, excuse me, Homa, Louisiana 70364 in the amount of $332,000 pending receipt of post-bid documents, decrease the previous approved project budget by $636,364 from one million to $363,636. Funds to be derived from the B building fund and further authorize the board president to sign all necessary documents pertaining there too. So move. So move, Ms. Benoit. Second. Second, Mr. Hamner. Any public comments? Ms. Benoit. Mr. Hamner? No. Other, other board members? Any objections? Motion passes. Recommendation number nine, the committee recommends that the board approve and accept the lowest bid received meeting all specifications for, deal, build, for building repair project in response to Hurricane Ida at Broadmoor Elementary School from Del Con LLC, PO Box 916, Berwick, Louisiana, 70342, in the amount of $525,000 pending receipt of post-bid documents establish a total budget project budget in the amount of $585,063 funds to be derived from FEMA reimbursement funds and further authorize the board president to sign all necessary documents pertaining thereto. So move. So move Mr. Hammer. Second Mr. Crowdis. Any public comments? Mr. Hammer. No sir. Mr. Crowdis. Any other board members? Any objections? Hearing none, motion passes. Recommendation number 10, the committee recommends that the board reject all bids received for the building repair project in response to Hurricane Ida at Lewis Miller Terrebonne Career and Technical High School, Building Elm, due to all bids exceeding the established threshold of the pre-construction estimate. So moved, Ms. Benoit, second, Mr. Hamner. Any public comments? Ms. Benoit, Mr. Hamner, other board members? Mr. DeHart? What's the reason for? Uh, us rejecting all the bids because it came up because later down the road we got some that we increased and so that's what uh, don't need to be fixed I'm, I'm yes go ahead so the, the, the reason is we're going to roll that building in project into the whole book debt project thinking it'll be more attractive the bidders will probably get more bids and better bids okay that's still why. FEMA we got yes, FEMA sir. blessing on yes, sir. that's what I'm yes, making sir. sure I understand yes, thank you thank you any other board members any objections? Hearing none, motion passes. Recommendation number 11, the committee recommends that the board approve and accept the change order for the Acadian Elementary School and <clears throat> Legion Park Elementary School roof project in the amount of $550,065 due to additional roof panel and roof <clears throat> insulation replacement. So move. So move, Mr. Hamner. Second, Mr. Crowdis. Any public comments? Mr. Hamner. No comment. Mr. Uh, Crowdis, any board members? Any objections? Okay. Hearing none, motion passes. Okay, I'm just looking through. We had project managers come up last time and discuss 
progress. Uh, there being no further business to come before the building BFT committee, the meeting was adjourned at 5.55. I turn it back over to you, uh, Dr. Trahan. Thank you, Mr. Voisin. Item, uh, the next item on the agenda is our report from Education, Technology, and Policy Committee, Ms. Benoit. Thank you, Madam President. The Education, Technology, and Policy Committee met immediately following uh, the Building and Food Service Transportation Committee on Monday, February 27th in the boardroom. Um, the following members were present, uh, Mr. Matthew Ford, Vice Chair, Mr. Don Crowdis, myself as chair was absent due to illness, um, but also in attendance were Dr. Maybell Trahan, Board President, Mr. Clyde Hamner, Mr. Michael Lagarde, Mr. Gregory Harding, Superintendent Bubba Ogeron, and members of his staff. There's only one recommendation, and that is that the committee recommend the board approve and accept, as presented, revised policy file F-12.2, employee dress code. So moved. Moved by Mr. Ford. Second. Second, Second by Mr. Crowdis. Um, any public comment? Mr. Ford. So at the committee meeting, I did bring up uh, <coughs> some concerns with lack of specificity in some items. But I really just, I think it's important that we get this employee dress code down packed, but it needs to be fluid. I think it's something we need to revisit periodically, whether it's yearly or bi-yearly. At some point in time, we need to revisit it so it's a very fluid document. I'm pleased with what the, what's on there now, but at some point in time, we're going to have to address some of the other particulars about grooming and, and dress. So I'm pleased with it now. I just wanted to bring that up to give you guys an idea where I stood. Thank you. Um, Mr. Crowdis, no comment. Um, I would assume that the, these are guidelines for uh, head of school, the principal, to enforce, and that you know they will do a really good job on making sure that they adhere to the policy and um, be as flexible as, as possible where, where they see it needs to be. Um, any other comments by board members? Any objections? Hearing none, so moved. Uh, there being no further business, I turn the meeting back over to you. Uh, Thank you, Ms. Benoit. Our next item is a, a, a report from the Finance, Insurance, and Section 16 Lands Committee. Mr. Hamlin. The Finance, Insurance, and Section 16 Lands Committee met immediately following the 5 p.m. Building, Food Service, and Transportation Committee uh, and the Education, Technology, Technology, and Policy Committee meetings on Monday, February 27, 2023, in the boardroom of the school board office with the following members present, myself, Chairman, Mr. Mike Lagarde, Vice Chairman. <clears throat> also in attendance were Dr. Maybell Traha, Mr. Matt Ford, Mr. Don Crowdis, Superintendent Bubba Andra, and members of the staff. The meeting was called to order and a presentation by Mr. Lynn Fontaine of Hub International gave a, uh, uh, on information on the group health claims uh, status so far this, uh, for calendar year 2022. Agenda item three was referred back to the uh, Employee Advisory Co uh, Insurance Advisory Committee. Um, Ms. Bro presented uh, uh, the committee uh, 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 item on, dec on library books as surplus, and the recommendation was uh, the committee recommends that the board declare as surplus library books in all elementary, middle, and junior high schools and authorize the disposition of the library books by any legally allowable method. So moved. moved by Mr. Ford. Second by Mr. Lagarde. Uh, any members of the public wish to address this? Uh, Mr. Ford. I just want to reiterate my interest in these books being allocated or distributed some sort of way other than put in boxes stored in some storage building. Give teachers, give the public, give students the opportunity to acquire these books and let them get to read them. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Crowdis. Um, just one thing that I would want to also address would be, I guess, making sure that these books have been looked over and that they're, they're, the, the content and all is, is appropriate to be just be given out and everything. Has that, okay. 
that's something that's that's been done or will be done before they're just it, it could be done okay yeah, yes all right thank you any other members of the board I just want to uh, make reference that Miss Elsie uh, uh, spoke about this as well at the committee meeting um, she did a good job thank you Miss Elsie uh, any objection to the uh, motion hearing none the motion passes Ms. Uh, next on the agenda, Ms. Klingman, uh, Supervisor of Finance, presented information on the monthly budget to actual comparison reports and gave an update on the sales tax collection reports. Um, she stated that sales tax collections for the month of December are approximately 16.3% lower than December of 2021. There being no further business to come before the Finance, Insurance, and Section 16 Lands Committee, a meeting adjourned at 723. Madam Chairman. I uh, turn the meeting back over to you. Thank you, Mr. Hamner. The next item is the Executive Committee report. The Executive Committee met immediately following the 5 p.m. Buildings, Food, Service, and Transportation Committee, Education, Technology, and Policy Committee, and the Finance, Insurance, and Section 16 Lands Committee on Monday, February 27, 2023, in the boardroom of the school board office with the following members present. Myself, President, Mr. Michael Lagarde, member. Also in attendance were Mr. Clyde Hamner, Mr. Matthew Ford, Mr. Don Crowdus, Superintendent Ogeron, and members of, his, of the staff. The meeting was called to order. The Executive Committee examined an authorized payment of invoices for the current month, including supplemental pay and travel expenses. There were no committee member concerns at the time. Being there was no further business to come before the Executive Committee, the meeting was adjourned at 7.25 p.m. Do I have a motion to accept this report? So moved. Moved by Mr. Hamner, second by Mr. Crowdus. Any public comment? Oh, excuse me, it's Mr. Lagarde. Excuse me, Mr. Lagarde. <laughs> Any public comment? Mr. Hamner? None. Mr. Lagarde? None. Any other board members? Any objections? None heard, so ordered. Next item on our agenda is uh, item eight, superintendent's agenda. Okay, the first first item, uh, 8A, I'd like to speak, 8A1, is matter bearing uh, upon employee raises. This is a, something I want to bring in full detail to the March 21st committee meeting next week. It's a, a recruiting and retention salary proposal that I want to present. And because this board has been really conservative and fiscally responsible, and the community has been, you know, really receptive to, to passing these sales taxes historically. Our sales tax accounts are healthy and, and secure enough to give a, a pretty good percentage raise across the board, all employees. Um, we value all employees, obviously, so we want to reward all employees. So that's going to be presented in, in great detail uh, Tuesday at the committee meeting. Um, again, our, our priority is to, to, to get starting teacher salaries to be the highest in the region barring st charles they're just a little too high but i think we can compete or maybe even out compete even with other districts passing certain things or not passing certain taxes or proposals we'll still be probably the lead in this region with this proposal um, so i just want people to uh, just know that we, we we put a lot of value in all of our employees and we want to present this for approval by the board, which um, I'll present in much greater detail Tuesday night. I have uh, one question. Yes, ma'am. So um, in, in the past, I thought um, any sort of increase in salary had uh, went um, in tandem with a positive evaluation. Are we, are you using that also this will, as This will just be a base, base increase. So just base, just, so it doesn't not matter it, what the no. evaluation mm -hmm. says. Mm -hmm. So a person could have a poor evaluation. We're just it, it's it's yeah. salary increase just like a um, base salary yes ma'am okay good question Any, anybody else anything else Take sounds good <laughs> okay next thing is the school, the school calendar. calendar 8a3 recommendation that the board approve and ratify the 2023 2024 school calendar with the school year beginning August 3rd, 2023 for employees, August 7th, 
2023 for students and ending May 23rd, 24 with the following holidays to be observed during the school session. Labor Day, September 4th, 2023, fall break, October 12th to 13th, 2023, Thanksgiving, November 20th, 24th, 2023, Christmas, December 20th, 23, January 2nd through January 22nd, 2024. Students return after Christmas break, January 20, excuse me, January 3rd, 2024. Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday observance, January 15th, 2024, Mardi Gras, February 12th to the 16th, 2024, and Easter spring break, March 29th, April 5th, 2024. And fall makeup days, if needed, will be October 12th, 13th, and November 2023. Spring makeup days, if needed, will be February 15th and February 16th, 2024. Students' last day will be May 23rd, 2024, and teachers' last day will be May 24th, 25. Do I have a motion? M moved by Mr. Boisin, second by Mr. Ford. Any public comment? Mr. Boisin? Yes, uh, I know Mr. Ozone mentioned that to a couple of us, but that's also going to go with the 10 minutes added to the day, and we're going to yes. look at the calendar, yes. too. Yes, uh, okay. I'll, I'll propose doing that again, adding 10 minutes each day so we can build in five banked days. Okay. Uh, so we may not need these makeup days uh, right, that we right. have listed here in the calendar. I, I think um, it was very popular and okay. um, appreciated. And, and think, very year. thankfully, we didn't have to use any exactly. of those days right. this exactly. year. Yes. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Mr. Ford? Yeah, I just want to continue what Mr. Boisian was saying. It, it's very considerate of us to, to <laughs> add in those minutes and for the superintendent to keep his word now that everyone's getting out a week early here in Terrebonne Parish, I'm a little jealous. That's right. <laughs> but I like the idea of banking those minutes, and if we need them, we can use them. If not, then you know we finish the celebration a little early. That's Thank right. you. Yes, sir. Any other board members? Any objections? None heard so ordered. Okay, item 4A1, family medical leaves. Recommendation that the board approve of family and medical leave in accordance with policy file F-11.4A for Catherine M. Maya Kochi, teacher at Village East Elementary School beginning March 6, 2023 through March 20, excuse me, March 31, 2023. That's family. So moved by Mr. Voisin, second by Mr. Ford. Any public comment? Mr. Voisin? Mr. Ford. Any other board members? Any objections? None heard so ordered. Okay, the next one is that the board approve a family and medical leave in accordance with policy file F-11.4A for Tony R. King, teacher at Gibson Elementary, beginning March 7, 2023 through May 31st, 2023, family. So moved. So moved by Mr. Uh, that was you, Mr. Hamner. Second by Mr. Voisin. Any, uh, any public comment? Mr. Hamner? None. Mr. Voisin? Any other board members? Any objections? None heard so ordered. The item 4A2, leaves without pay. Recommendation is that the board approve a leave of absence without pay in accordance with policy file F-11.10 for Brooke A. Cormier, teacher at Kotobai Blue Elementary School beginning March 1st, 2023 through April 6, 2023, personal. So moved. moved by Mr. Wazam. Second. Second. By Mr. Hamner. Any public comment? Mr. Boisin? Mr. Hamner? None. Other board members? Any objections? None heard so ordered. The okay, next recommendation is that the board approve a leave of absence without pay in accordance with policy file F-11.10 for Amy F. Porch, teacher at Caldwell Middle School beginning February 28, 2023 through March 17, 2023, Family Medical. Motion, motion by Mr. Crowders. Second. Second by Mr. Boisin. Any public comment? Mr. Crowders? Mr. Boisin, any other board members? Any objections? None heard so ordered. Okay, next, uh, for your information only, is personnel actions for a period of January 23rd, 23 through March 3rd, 2023. You have that at your desk. Okay. Our next order of business is going to necessitate we go into executive session. Do I have a motion to go into executive session? So moved. So moved, Mr. Hamner, second by Ms. Benoit. Any public comment? Mr. Uh, Mr. Hamner, Ms. Benoit, any other board members? Objections? None heard, so ordered. 
you need to clear the room